My test is in five minutes, people. And you're gonna see people standing out, the army people. Okay, all right, thank you. Girl, I'm about to get tested. We can't be breathing, you feel me? I'm going to do a week long vlog. I'm going to try and see how it works out and if people like it or not. So it is Friday night and I didn't do much today but I wanted to get on here just to start the week. Today I posted my last vlog and make sure you guys go watch that. But yeah, so pretty much when I post a video, I'm on the computer all day, just like, I don't know just checking like analytics and just like seeing if I can change something if I can you know change the title or I don't know I need to stop that usually I mean it's nothing really you could do after the video is posted it's posted but that's what I usually do so today I was pretty much on the computer all day and last night trying to post that was it was a bad night <laughs> it was not a good um posting night and sometimes I have those. I haven't had one of those nights in a long time because I got a whole new computer because of this problem. So for some reason my work was not going onto my hard drive. It was going onto my computer which obviously takes up space and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who goes through that. It's that little annoying message that pops up and says your disk is almost full. Like I hate to see that message. That message is I don't know what to do. So basically I had to end up deleting everything off of my computer, well one of them, and hoping that I didn't delete the video that I worked so hard on. Luckily, thank God, I got it posted and nothing was deleted. So I'm very thankful for that because last night I was going through it. Like I really wanted to scream. I was in a bad mood and I was up until 1 a.m. and you guys know I wake up at 7 to go to the gym. Okay, I could put all that behind me now that it's out, the video's up and there is crazier things going on in the world. Beside that, I'm actually getting ready to go out of town next Friday because next Friday is my birthday. So I'm going to be leaving out of town next week and I'm so excited you guys because I have not really traveled in a while well i've traveled but not like usual like i'm someone that before the pandemic i was gone like every month so not all the time on like out of the country but you know i would be somewhere like out of town so but now i pretty much i'm at home i don't even go out anymore you guys that's just not me hopefully that can change the warmer that it gets but we'll see so i'll see you guys when i wake up in the morning to head to the gym good morning it is 10 a.m yes 10 a.m and i'm in the bed i have not done this in over like well not even over in about two months i haven't been up this late in a while but last night i was telling you guys how i stayed up really late and still woke up at 7 a.m and i've done that many times like in the last few months went to bed really really late and woke up at seven and i have not slept in in over i mean in two months and um yeah i guess last night just really got to me when i was <laughs> frustrated with the computer and all of that i did wake up at seven because it's just automatic now but when i woke up and like i stood up i was just like not feeling it usually i can just get up and go like push through you know i'm just like okay i gotta get this done so let me open my curtains because i still have it super dark in here 
<laughs> and I really need to get up now, so. Okay, now y'all can see me. You probably see too much. I need to do my brows and everything else. But <laughs> I was just not feeling it this morning. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go back to sleep. Because I'm not really good at getting up early, going to work out, and then coming home and taking a nap. Like, I'm ne I've am i never really been good at naps. And if I do take one, I am beat tired and... um it's just like not planned. Like if I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap when I get back, I never really have time during the day. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do that. Wake up at seven, go to the gym and come back and sleep. I just knew it wasn't gonna happen. So, um, and I actually went to sleep a little bit earlier last night. I was just tired, you guys, so tired. So um, set my alarm for two hours and I was like, okay, I'll wake up at nine and when nine o'clock came, I woke up like drowsy. So I went back to sleep for an hour and now I'm awake. So today I really need to start packing because I will be leaving at the end of the next week. And also I need to start thinking about a video that I'm going to film, my next video that I'm going to film. And yeah, I'm still gonna go to the gym today. Um, I don't know my mind just won't let me sit this saturday out just because i know i go monday through saturday so i'm just gonna go and plus on sundays i weigh myself so i just feel like i want to get this last workout in before i weigh myself <laughs> i have not yet really started my morning i'm about to just wake up and have breakfast um i'm gonna have some groceries delivered to me because i ran out of my shots my saturdays are nothing like they used to be i tell you mm -hmm. So I'm finally about to be on my way to the gym, but I got to hurry up because it's 2.30 and you know how you only can have it for an hour. But if no one comes in, then I just kind of finish my workout anyway. And then I got my groceries delivered. So that's why I'm going right now because I was thinking like hopefully by the time I'm coming out from the gym, my groceries will be there. So that's what I'm hoping. And um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm about to go down and do that. And all I'm doing is a half an hour of cardio. So, and then I usually end it with like um, planks. So that won't be a problem that I, if I have to leave in a half hour. <music> gym as you can see I had to do the end of my workout in my place because there was a bunch of people that came well not a bunch but four people came at three o'clock so if there's four people in there then you actually have to leave usually it's not like that usually I'm in there by myself or maybe like one or two other people but today I don't know that's why I get it done in the morning because I know I can get my full workout in and there are there won't be anybody really in there. I'm just about to open my packages really quick and make me a protein shake, but my groceries still haven't got here. I was thinking that it was gonna be here by the time I came out the gym, but it wasn't. So I'm just gonna go back downstairs after I make a protein shake and get through these packages. Sunday you guys today I have so much to do because I was looking over my calendar and I think I even said earlier in this vlog that I'm leaving at the end of the week and 
I actually leave on Wednesday. Today's Sunday, but I haven't really finalized my packing and um, all my appointments. Luckily, my last appointment was on Wednesday, so I'll still have time to go to that appointment because I don't leave until the night time on Wednesday. So I'm okay with that. And then, um, oh my gosh. So today I'm going to be doing like my at home, like self-care Sunday because I need to do a deep conditioner on my hair, um, do my brows and a facial. And I do my facial this early because sometimes when you do a mask, it brings up stuff and I don't want it to bring up a pimple or something right before I leave. Even though that can happen anyways, but we'll see. I pretty much have everything that I'm gonna bring right here on my couch. I don't know why I always like to pack on my couch. I think it just like brings it to like an empty space because I'm bringing stuff from this closet and that closet and this is just the middle where it's a lot of room just to lay out my stuff. I don't know, I always end up doing that. And then I have my suitcase right here. I'm gonna start trying to put things in, at least what I know for sure is going. Well, actually everything on the couch is for sure going. It's just I have to, um, figure out what shades and you know things like that that are gonna go with each um look i'll only be gone for about five days so that's pretty easy because i usually overpack but this time i just really i know i've been on enough vacations to know that i'm not about to wear everything but this one i think i might get through everything hopefully i do because i'm sticking to like a color scheme pretty much just neutral black white tan brown you know things like that we're gonna be kind of busy like doing things so i don't know if i'm gonna really have time to just you know pose but knowing me i will make time for that photo so that's what i got going right now and also i've been wanting to get a new phone so i finally made an appointment to go because you have to make an appointment to go in at&t now which i thought because i've seen lines outside of the stores and i was like no i'm not about to do that so let's go and do these brows really quick um i still have to also get my shoes together so i pretty much gotta get shades and shoes out um this time i'm not even gonna take that many purses i'm just gonna take two or three but they're gonna be small they're gonna be small so i think three tops so i thought i really wasn't even gonna leave the house today I was just thinking that I was gonna be getting my stuff together here, but yeah, I'm glad I looked at my calendar. That's all I gotta say. And I'm glad I write everything down because I would have been so mad. So it was really easy. I just had to switch the day of the flight that I made. I thought I was going Thursday this whole time. Like I'm thinking I have a whole full extra day and a half. And then I called my friend that's going and he has like all the flight stuff and information so i'm like which day are we leaving because i don't know it just i don't know why I even i'm just glad i asked that so i'm supposed to be there on wednesday not thursday it's gonna be just like a chill trip nothing too crazy it's still um you know a pandemic so it's definitely not gonna be like how it would be if um there wasn't a pandemic going on am i the only person that still plugs their own brows i finished my brows they're a little bit red kind of swollen don't mind that but i'm about to pull out my shades this is my um, accessories so for sure i know i want to take these Okay, so these are the only two pairs that I know I want to take for right now. I'm about to come and see which outfit I'm going to wear with these. So I know these are going to go with both of those outfits. And these would go, I guess, just with one. I kind of want to go and see if I have, um, if I can find one more pair of shades. I might do that probably tomorrow because right now I'm just not really sure. I do have a brown pair. I don't know if I wanna take these though. These are always good. I love these glasses. 
on one of my favorite pairs of glasses. But I don't know if I want to take these. And what are these going to go with? What am I wearing these with? Um, <laughs> you know, I want it to go with something. I want it to be kind of planned out, so I'm just not going to force it. I know I want those two pairs, and then um, let's look at what hats I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring... What the heck? Where's the... Oh, okay. I'm going to bring this, and then I'm going to bring this scarf. Pretty much I always have everything that I need, but I always just like to go and see if there's like one more thing I could get. You know what I mean? Like, we'll see. But so far, this is what is there. Oh, I need to still pick out shoes. Let me go look at shoes right now, actually. So I know for sure these ones I wanna take, they go with like a look. These, I wanna wear these on the flight. So I'm gonna take these. Oops, my bad. I'm heading to AT&T to get my phone. Well, I hope. Um, I think they should have my phone there. I just wanted to upgrade it because the phone that I have, oh my God. I ain't got no makeup on y'all, but do I ever? The um, phone that I have, I have the 11 and it's the small one. And um, my friend has the bigger phone. Like I have the smaller, this one. You know how this is the smaller phone? And um, the bigger one, I notice takes better pictures. Some people say, no, it doesn't, it's the same, but no. That phone takes way, better pictures and since I'm going out of town I wanted to make sure I had it and I've been wanting that phone just for day to day as well but um I hope I can get used to holding the bigger phone <laughs> y'all I'm so glad I looked at my calendar because I would have been so mad came Thursday I wouldn't have even I wouldn't even been going on a trip because if I waited till Thursday like oh my god okay well whatever i have it going today and these people are looking at me they're probably like oh what is she doing oh, i hate this <sighs> yes i'm recording myself sir i'm so nervous to get my covid test tomorrow y'all i mean i mean i don't have covid i know i don't have covid like i just don't i'm thank god i have not even been sick this whole covid time period the worst thing i got is allergies and y'all know i got that but oh i'm just nervous for how it feels and just everything like i can't wait to get that out of the way tomorrow y'all once that is done then i'm gonna be golden I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but I'm embarrassed to say that I've listened to that song probably 1900 times a day. But anyways, so I just pulled up to AT&T. I thought it was further away, so I'm 10 minutes early and I'm waiting in the car. I'm guessing I got to knock on the door when I get in. Oh, it says 25 people can come in. I guess I'll just wait till four, so. Again, about this COVID test, y'all. I'm nervous. This is my first one. And I don't know how I'm gonna do. I just have a little sweatsuit on. I just, literally, this is all I had to come out the house for is coming at this phone. So I just threw on this sweatsuit and no, I don't have a bra on because I never do. 
All right. Bad news on the phone. So they did not have the phone that I want in stock. I probably should have ordered it a long time ago, but no, I had to wait to the last minute. I'm still gonna get the phone, but I wasn't in a rush to do everything right now because either way, it wasn't gonna be here by the time I leave on Wednesday. So I just said I'll come back, which I'm just gonna have to do. So I'm finally home and I'm about to do my facial right now. Let me see what mask I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna do a pumpkin because that's a good, you know, right before you need to be right. This is a glycolic mask. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And plus I'm gonna be using my microdermabrasion. So that will work good. I'm about to do the full facial. I will let you guys watch me in fast motion so it won't be long but you'll see every step that i do While this mask is on my face, I'm going to pack my makeup bag. So this pumpkin mask, it kind of like burns a little bit in the first couple seconds. That's why I was fanning my face. Um, see, so for the most part, my bag is kind of packed. Like, I kind of left it because last time I was out of town, I did not do any makeup, so. My bag is just good. All my brushes are clean. My sponges are clean. Um, I'll probably add some stuff because I'm gonna actually put on some makeup this trip. All right, I'm gonna throw this bag together and take this off my face. And then I'm going to call it a night. So I need to get some sleep before my test tomorrow. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. I pulled up to where the testing is supposed to be, but I don't see the exact building because I'm over here at the college. I've never been over here and it's a bunch of buildings and I don't see the one I'm supposed to go to. Hold on. Uh -huh. These par apartments that are for the campus. This is elementary school. What? Excuse me. Damn it. Here, let me ask this lady right now. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you get her? I'm looking for the Stan Fulton building. Oh, this is it right here? That says Boys and Girls Club?
You follow the sign. Just, you could just go straight right there and just hop in the line, right? No, it's, it's right there. Oh. Right. The cones? Where the cones are at? <laughs> yeah. All right. You gonna follow, you gonna go, just go straight out right there. Uh-huh. The arrow gonna be pointing. You see? Oh, okay. Where, those people, where that little thing at, the little building, you're going to see people standing out, the army people. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, you are. Girl, I'm about to get tested. We can't be breathing. You feel me? But she was a nice lady. All right. I still kind of don't know what she's talking about. There's some cones, and she's talking about the arrow. She said it's going to be army people out here. What? Oh, I was on a one way going the wrong way. Y'all, pray for me. I don't want to be late. Okay, see, it says testing entrance. Boom. Okay, here we go. Let's follow the arrows. Sorry, sir. What you doing? What you gonna let me go or no? Oh, I see it. Wait. They said it was an inside building, though. Right here, it's like. follow these people. What we got going on over here? My test is in five minutes, people. Why we gotta wait in line? I feel like, oh shit, did they tell me to come early? Cause I was thinking I'm about to pull right up to the building. There's a building right there. That's the building. There's the army people coming up. I have a test at 9.50. Copy that, man. Just gonna turn this way, they'll park you, and you can walk right inside. Okay, where? Right Just here. This way, man. Oh, okay. Thank All right, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> he said, that's a super nice car. Okay, so, why is it so government? Is the president in here? It's like, what the hell? Oh, I'm scared now, guys. I didn't know it was gonna be army people and police and everything. right here by the police so they can watch my car. All right, y'all, so I am all tested. Um, now we just wait. I thought that it was going to be, okay, first of all, it's getting hotter when I put this big old jacket on. It was cold, I was freezing at first, but now that I'm outside, it's kind of warm. Um, Dang, these army people, they make me leave. I gotta go. Let me put y'all down here. Hold on. Oh. Damn police over here. Oh. All right, I'm off the premises. Okay, so, um, yeah, I thought they were gonna stick that thing up my nose. That's why I was like so freaked out and you couldn't film in there because it was like all federal and army based up in there but um yeah so uh it was easy i wouldn't even been able to hold my camera all i had to do was take the little thing out damn where am i hold on oh lord what the hell so they really got me driving through the campus and i'm trying to get back to the strip i'm about to head to the wind shops anyways okay um yeah so all i had to do was take that thing out and swab both nostrils and put in the little thing um this whole time i was thinking that they were about to stick that thing up my nose um i hope i did it right because i was doing it myself you know what i mean like I'd rather someone do it for me. That's the last thing I needed for my trip. I filled out all those other papers to go um, to visit there. And yes, it was a whole lot to do, honestly. Like, I mean, it wasn't hard, but I'm just saying it was a lot to do because you're. You, I'm used to just, you know, just going. And then I also have my nail appointment later and I need to figure out what nail. I don't know what I'm going to do on my nails. I feel like. Oh, it's 50 degrees out here. I'm okay with my jacket. They're gonna be like, she is so extra with this damn fur.
so it is 10 of, wait I can't even talk because it's too loud Sorry y'all, I don't have my camera on that little stick because I'm taking it in and out of the store and that little stick don't fit in my bag. But I got some things that I wanted. Um, as you can see, when I first got in there, I ended up getting breakfast at Earth Cafe, which I haven't been to in a long time. And it was so, so bomb. Cause it was a meal I thought I had to give up because I've, I haven't been to a restaurant with vegan um, huevos ranchero. And um, yeah, so it was there and it was so good. Yeah, so the stores don't open till 11. That's why I ended up going to eat. They, they say online, it said that it was open at 10, but they all told me that stores don't really open till 11 since the pandemic, no one really comes. And um, I scheduled me a massage at the Wynn Spa. Um, I've been to the Encore Spa and it is so beautiful. I've been to pretty much all the top rated um, spas in Vegas. And this is my first time going to Wynn. No one really, Wynn was not on the list. So I never came to Wynn, but I mean, it's right here by my place. So I just decided to get a massage just to start my birthday week you know good so everything's not going to be open i'm not going to get to really experience it how i would if there wasn't a pandemic you know so um i'm really going to get this massage is what i'm going for but i think i'll be able to see everything because they said that they remodeled it so even after this i'm gonna have to come back so i can really you know use the amenities but at least I can get my massage. So I'm back home just for a second before I go get my nails done. I still need to figure out how I'm actually gonna do my nails. I haven't really thought about it, but I have like an hour before I have to leave because I have to make one more stop before going to get my nails. So I'm just gonna do a little quick unboxing because I only got a couple things today. And um, yeah, so I'll show you what I got. The first one is from Celine. And I actually went in there for a different bag that I saw. It's the same kind of bag. Well, I'm, I'm not even really unboxing. I'm kind of like unbagging because I told them to keep the boxes so I didn't have, you know, too much stuff. So anyways, I went and got, I was going for the triangle bag, this bag right here. I just liked the print and I liked how, you know, how the name looked. But when I got there, it was super, super small. And it's basically just enough for my phone, which is cool because I do like small bags. Maybe I would get it, you know, I would get it like on something random if I'm just like, you know what I mean? Um, so I went with this little bag. So I decided to go with one a little bit bigger, but still small because I love a small bag. Um, I went with this one and I just like the print and how, you know, the name is in white. It's just super cute and you can take the strap off and hold it like this. And it's just a cute like run around bag. You know, you can do it over the shoulder and just go. I also went to Prada. And here I also, I really didn't have anything too in mind, but I did know that I was taking my black bucket hat. So I kind of told the lady that was helping me and you know, so she picked me out a black bag because I have a bag, but it's like a color. So I literally never wear it. I needed a black one to go with my bucket hat. So this, I ended up getting this little bag. This is so cute. I would hold it just like this, but it also has the strap. See, you can also wear it over and 
kind of have it like this. So I thought this was really cute. I will get a lot of use out of it because it's black and it's small. I didn't really find any shoes today. Like I was looking for like a good like sandal, not like a sandal flat, but like a heel because I feel like I haven't got a new pair of heels in a minute. So um, I didn't really find anything that like wowed me. So I skipped over that, but I did go to, but I did go to Saks Fifth and actually in here, my stuff is all mixed together because I, I was shopping around. You know how everything is kind of like mixed up. So I just have a bunch of random stuff, but the first thing I got are and that's something else from Celine. They're exactly like the black shades that I'm bringing. It's that my black shades, I need to go get them sized because they fall off my face, but these don't. So I just got, you know, the, oops, the signature flat top Celine glasses. I love these glasses. And I just got them in a different color, which is like a nude or tan, because I don't really have a pair of glasses this color. I, I still need a pair that is like brown. I have some, but I just want some that are new. So I went with these. Let me take this off. And this is how they look on. I look a little crazy with my hat, but you know, with some makeup on, a lip, it's gonna look cute. So this is also from Saks. I got a new scent. Every time I'm shopping, like I don't really go, I never really go to the shopping and then like say I'm going for perfume, which I need to do, but it's kind of always random when I buy something, buy a new scent. So this one is from Creed and this, Ooh. and I love the smell, even though most of these are like men's scents. They're kind of all unisex though, but this is the one that I went with. I smelled like every single one because I wanted a new one. Let me re-smell it. Cause you know in the store on them papers, they don't really do it justice. This smells like a man, but it smells so good. Ooh. Okay, so I got that today. And I also, ooh, need some WD-40. And then from Sephora, I just pretty much um, repurchased things that I already use. I just got this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Two products from their Vitamin C collection. And I got another Laneige lip balm. I got two scents from Margiela and these are the Replica and these smell amazing. The reason why I got them is because I've been hearing like really good things about these. Well, mainly about Jazz Club, but when I smelt, smelt the Jazz Club, I didn't, I didn't really like it. Maybe I have to mix it, but it wasn't my thing. So, you know, I didn't force it. I just left it and I smelled the other three and these are the two that um, I really liked. So I'm going to just wear these. I'm going to take this, these with me on my trip and I'm going to wear them and see how they smell so then I can get the bigger bottle. So I got a Tom Ford lipstick. I love Tom Ford stuff because my initials are TF2, Tina Franklin. So I love to see Tom Ford things. Then I got my birthday present from Laneige. I like free stuff. Well, it ain't really free because I spent $300 in there.
morning, you guys. Oh, okay. They're cleaning my windows today. I did not notice that. They never warn you. Do I have food in my teeth? I'm in a great mood because I'm, one, about to get my massage in about half an hour. Two, I just checked my, oh wait, I'm not even gonna show y'all that because it has too much of my information. But your girl does not have COVID like I knew, but I'm just saying, and now I got the proof. So this was the last thing that I needed to email um, over to the people. So yay, I'm excited. I'm about to go print this out downstairs. I'm just eating breakfast right now. I hope I don't have like food all over me. I'm not really paying attention because I just checked that and I was like, just had to be sure, okay? But I'm about to head out the door right now before I'm late. Oh, yes, I really need to head out the door. And I'll see you guys over at the wind. crazy because she put oil and everything else in my hair and massaged my scalp so I'm not gonna talk too much because I have to get to my lash appointment and I'm a little bit late and I need my full hours to get these lashes full so I'm going to check in with y'all when I get back home this is what they gave me too bad I'm not gonna eat it from a little birthday ritual massage that I got so I'll fill you guys in later so I'm here getting my lashes done. What lengths do I get? So you get a D curl. Okay, because the curl is very important. You like a D curl, which is a nice tight curl. And then the lengths, we do short to long. And I'll kind of go back and forth. I go like, sometimes I'll do 10, 12, 14. Uh -huh. And I always start the length at your arch area. And sometimes I'll do 11, 13, 15. It just depends on what your lashes can handle on the day. Okay. But 15's the longest length I have. I wanna get some 16's just to try. Well, my lashes are always good. I always get compliments. <laughs> they so. always look so fire. <laughs> all right, so finally back home. It is now nighttime. I finished putting all my stuff in my suitcase. So I'm so glad that's done. Tomorrow, all I have to do is get my pedicure and I'm ready to go. So my massage today was so, so bomb, you guys. Like, first of all, I need to relook up the top spas in Vegas because when I first moved out here, I looked it up and the wind was not on there, but I feel like it should be because it is so nice. Even though I couldn't use all the amenities, I'm definitely gonna be going back because yeah, it's, it's so nice. And then the massage that I got today, it was called the good luck massage and it was 80 minutes and it was so good. Like, I wish I dated like a masseuse because dudes be like, girl, let me give you a massage. And then, so like, it's always good to get a real professional massage. I also got my lashes done. I just got out the shower so you probably can't see it, but they look bomb like always. And I'm just about to put this I'm putting this hydration treatment in right now. And then I'm gonna sit under this, you can kind of see it. I have a whole video on that if you guys wanna see. But I was just checking in to let you guys know the wind spa is amazing. I wouldn't go right now though because everything isn't open. They're trying to open everything in March. I believe she said it was March. I'll let you guys see how I set my um, hydration treatment up again though. If you don't want to go watch the full video and you have to use like spring water to put inside of it i use this because it's the only water i have basically just don't use faucet water
I just had to jump out the shower because I'm in my bathroom and I hear the ropes come down, which is, you see, you see these ropes? When you see those swing down or the ropes, that means there's gonna be a man in my window in like a couple seconds. So I had to jump out the shower. Good thing I was done, <laughs> but yeah, that's my morning. About to head to go get my pedicure and i got like a you know because usually i get like a quick pedicure because i don't like to sit there for that long especially like after i get my nails done i just always get like the quickest thing and then i'm out but today since it's my birthday week i decided to get like a longer treatment and it's like a cbd treatment you know just to help you like relax and everything so i'm excited to see how that goes and I just blew out my hair and did like a light 350 heat on my roots, but I don't really do my ends. That's why my ends are always kinda, mm. but I braid it at night so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be wearing my natural hair, which I usually don't do on vacation, but that's why I'm doing it because I wanna get like some different looks like a ponytail and like, you know, like stuff like that. My hair is obviously going to get wet, but for now, when I'm arriving, I can, you know, get a couple looks in before it gets wet. But my hair is trying to get long again, a little bit, you know. You feel me? Y'all, I brought work. So while I'm sitting there, I'm going to have to write down all this stuff because I said I was going to be writing my script a couple days ago. Oh my gosh. Okay. I said I was going to be writing my script for my next video a couple days ago, but... I did not get the chance, so I'm about to be writing that while I'm getting my pedicure, but I'm still gonna enjoy it. it's time for me to close out this vlog so i can edit and get this video up for you guys on friday make sure you are following me on instagram so you can see the stories and the pictures that i'm posting and yeah i'll meet you guys on vacation see you guys in the next one